Hey, Flight Simmers, with MSFS 2024 just around the corner, everyone's asking the big question, will MSFS 2020 add-ons work in a new sim? And the answer is, um, it depends. Today, I'll walk you through the latest updates from developers, share insights from my experience in the tech alpha, and give you a few tips for making the transition as smooth as possible. Let's get started with the basics. Microsoft recently released an alpha SDK version to help developers prepare for MSFS 2024. But here's the catch. Only developers with marketplace content have early SDK access. Third-party developers outside of the marketplace, including those creating freeware add-ons, won't get the SDK until the official release date. This means compatibility for a lot of your favorite free add-ons might take longer as those developers will have to catch up after launch. And as for compatibility, while aircraft are affected, I think the biggest challenges will be with airports and scenery enhancements. Types of add-ons where changes in elevation data and textures are likely to cause issues. We saw this firsthand with my footage of FSIM Studios Halifax Airport from my MSFS 2024 Tech Alpha, where elevation and textures looked off in a new sim. The good news is that Asobo is active on the dev forms, helping developers address these issues. So there's hope that major add-ons will transition smoothly. Iris Simulations has reported that none of their products are working flawlessly yet in MSFS 2024. They're currently reporting bugs to Microsoft and Asobo, hoping these issues get resolved before launch. SLH Sim Designs, a solo developer known for detailed sceneries, shared that he's focusing on MSFS 2024 version of Soka, the Cayenne Airport in French Guyana. To manage workload effectively, he's prioritizing this airport's MSFS 2024 version, aiming for release day readiness. If there's enough demand, he'll consider a version for MSFS 2020 afterwards. Clifford Designs, another solo developer, described the SDK as a nightmare, particularly due to the new level of detailed requirements that are causing models to disappear. It's a steep learning curve, but he's adapting and embracing the new tools for future projects. Some good news from DC Designs. Microsoft has assured them that they'll handle the porting of DC Designs aircraft to MSFS 2024 with the vast majority expected to work smoothly. Say Intentions.ai was impressively quick to get their ATC enhancement working well with MSFS 2024 Tech Alpha, a positive side for compatibility on release day. Based on their rapid response to the Tech Alpha, I'm confident they'll be ready to go when MSFS 2024 launches. If you're into enhanced ATC, check out their free trial, link is in the description. With so many changes under the hood, you're probably wondering how to safely transfer your MSFS 2020 add-ons to MSFS 2024. Here's my recommendation. Don't move your entire community folder over all at once. Instead, check for updates from your favorite add-on developers first, then start by moving a few add-ons at a time and testing them out individually. This will prevent crashes and make it easier to pinpoint any compatibility issues. To make this process even smoother, consider using MSFS Add-ons Linker. It's a great tool for managing your add-ons, allowing you to enable or disable specific ones without moving files manually. For those of you with a large collection of add-ons like I have, Add-ons Linker will save you a ton of time and make troubleshooting much easier. Switching to MSFS 2024 is exciting, but challenging, especially for compatibility. Asobo's support on the dev forms is a great sign and hopefully we'll see major add-ons transition smoothly. So what's the one add-on you absolutely need to work on day one? Drop it in the comments. I'm curious to see what's everyone counting on. And if you have several add-ons like me, you'll want to check out this video next.